my first question is, did you do any time, you know? No, I didn't do any time. I didn't do any time by the grace of God. I didn't do any time. Okay. okay. Um, my second question is, from being in that situation, living that lifestyle, what can you, what kind of advice can you give to young girls that's out there now on Instagram, you know, showing their butts and, you know, just think that that lifestyle and they get money quick is just not... They think it's everything, but it's really not. It's really not, but you know what I'm going to say this. It's really hard for me to answer this question because I get it asked, asked a lot. Okay. Because I wouldn't be the woman I am today had I not gone the path that I would. You know, I came up with hustlers my whole life from the time I was 16. I wouldn't be the woman or have the compassion or passion about things in my life that I have now had I not gone through all that. So I never tell anybody, don't do what I did. All I tell people is don't give up. Because there's a lot of situations, people do what they got to do for their kids, for their life, to survive, or for whatever reason. And I just say don't ever give up, don't ever look at that as your end of you. Because it's a, life is a, a progress and a, a progression. It's a process. You got to trust the process though. Because the process is what takes you into your destiny. Your destiny is not here, here, or here. Your destiny is here. So you got to be able to get it. So it's hard for me to answer that question, but I want, you know, I always uh, mentor a lot of young girls. They all talk to me. And it's always God. I'm always going to tell you God first. You know what I'm saying? Because God's grace and mercy is sufficient for everything that you're doing. But let's make some good choices because it is natural consequences. There's natural, there's jail, there's being hurt, there's being homeless, there's being, you know, dead, there's natural consequences. So there is consequences to your decisions. A lot of them are mental, physical, emotional, physical. You go to jail, you mental, messed up. There's a lot of things that come with it on the other side, on this side of the land, and I'm coming out of it. And a lot of mental things that I'm still dealing with from being in that life. And it's hard for me to sometimes move in the business world and stuff. Sometimes it's good because a lot of lessons that I learned to help me maneuver in the business world. And then a lot of them are still paranoid. You know, you can't. Yeah. I'm ready to say. It's a little good and a little bad. You know, but you're not supposed to. But then it's hard sometimes to do honest business work. <laughs> That time was the best to me. Like, I don't even go to clubs now. You know what I mean? We had so much fun. I'm going to say that was, it ain't nothing like being a little bit. Ain't nothing right. Can't even compare it to what it was like when I was young. And I say, we was getting on private planes, like, all of us together. It was family. It was definitely family. It was definitely love. It was definitely fun. It was definitely fun. It was definitely another side that people didn't have to be around. It was a good side. It was a lot of love. So, and it wasn't no party like that because we moved together as a unit. So, it was like that. So what do you plan on doing like from you say you don't know if you're gonna be on the next season of LA Hair, so if that doesn't pan out. <laughs> well, I have my own show that will be coming on soon. Okay. Our all female barbershop show. Okay. Yeah, so We'll look out for that. All right, definitely. Will it be on the same um, we'll channel? Look out for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> is it pre-production? Pre-production. Okay. So it's it's etched in stone. It's, it, it's etched in stone. Okay. It's, it's etched. We we just working out a lot of things. We had um, that was the whole reason really for me going on LA here was to spend. Uh, to, I, I was shopping my show before I went to LA here. I was shopping my show in LA here. It was like you should go put your LA here and see how you do. You pop in LA here. Is it filmed in um, LA? Yeah. Okay. Yep, it'll be filmed in LA. Um, I'm going to take a lot of young girls out the hood and introduce them to Hollywood, introduce them to the Hollywood side, and young girls. Because that that was for me what I was missing. I never had a, a female mentor. I always came up around a bunch of dudes, whether it was from the streets or the barbershop. I've always been around dudes. And being a like a girly girl as a barber, it was a world. I went through a lot. I'm always a this girl. I've never been. You know, I like makeup here. I like the girls I like to go this girl. So it's always been a challenge for me. In an environment like this, you can imagine you walking in like this and want to cut your hair. It's been a challenge. <laughs> but I 
I've never, uh, I said, like, I don't, mind, I don't mind being in a man's room. Like, oh, right. I don't mind being in this, but I'm not going to come down to be like a boy so that I can work here. And I'm just going to say that I like the high end of hair to make it like that. <laughs> and I don't want to work in a salon. Oh, you're right. That was my first time actually being in a salon. The environment was all over here because I come from the barbershop. I come from a barbershop. Barbershop. I don't come from a salon. So, and in the barbershop, it's just talking shit. It's not like catty. And in the salon, it was so much catty stuff. I was like, oh, I'm hot. Don't do this. Don't do this. So it, was, it kind of threw me off. And I think that that's where the altercations came in because I was in my zone. I was just like. Don't disrespect me, I won't disrespect you. And that's kind of like the barbershop. You know what I'm saying? You're around the dudes. It's a different type of They talk shit and they come at you and you can't be a crybaby. But it's not cat. Yeah, definitely different. Definitely but it, that's probably where a lot of the, you know, yeah. the altercations yeah. on the show that yeah. is still from. Yeah. 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 But then I'm all the love of the So, you know, I bought Akon, Ray J, and for sure. I bought a lot of celebrities in it. So, I think it's doing all the work. It's kind of like coming, the new girl coming into their show. You know, it was right. their environment. And I think they felt like I just was too much, which is like, okay. Right. Right. Okay. All right. So, I mean, congratulations on the new show, and I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Um, where can people keep in contact with you, follow you, have a online website? Um, I have my website, which is therealisabee.com, and then my IG and my Twitter is uh, at one, the number one, the real Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>